As we keep wasting time here, I have just the appropriate song. <laughs> okay, bro, 100 questions tonight. What? You're supposed to sing. <laughs> I was haunting. <laughs> I don't know about that. You don't like my sing. Mm. I can't I, sing. I thought it was lovely. Oh, no, you got him choking. No, 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 no. <laughs> right at the beginning, we're four Sometimes minutes Sometimes patients give me doing that. <laughs> they love. They high five their hubs. Mm -hmm. We got to be doing it. Okay, <laughs> real, real quick, side, little funny side story. Me, Brecken, and Dan, <laughs> we were driving back from some event or something up in North Salt Lake or from the airport or something. And Dan was driving back. This was years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got him laughing. And he starts choking while he's driving down the road. It was pretty frightening, huh? Oh, it was yeah, terrifying. Road. Brecken and I were just looking at each other <laughs> like, what die. have we done? <laughs> but for some reason, now it's our goal to get him laughing so hard he chokes. No, but... we don't do that on these the Facebook lives. Yeah. <laughs> it's scary. But I do a spasm and start coughing. Yeah. So, okay. Right into questions. Let's so, going. yeah. Let's, okay. So, uh, let me tell the story on this. We're going to do 100 questions, 100 hours. The problem is, 100 hours. we got so, I'm sorry, 100 questions <laughs> in one hour, and we got buried in the questions because they were so interesting. And then you guys started expounding, and I started expounding, and pretty soon we only did like 30 questions last time. Maybe five. I don't know how many we did. <laughs> we did a lot, but you guys have been just pushing them all to us, so we want to keep going with it and explain. Yeah, we more. got this one in one more hour. We'll do this with, and then we're going to talk about really cool stuff. Okay, this is really cool. This is a challenge to my brain. I was mm -hmm. we like just thinking, I, I'm surprised I can do so well. I'm like a million years old. You so. shouldn't tell people your okay, age. Okay, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I need to blast out these answers right now. Okay, okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go ahead and start. Okay, how much calcium should someone with osteopenia take per day? If they're male or female, probably 2,500 milligrams. It cannot be calcium carbonate that is full of lead. JAMA article, study, they looked at all the calcium carbonate products on the market, Tums, everything, full lead, bad. Um, the other ones, it should be about 2,500 a day. Women on average, when they're having menses every month, lose 50,000 milligrams of calcium. Wow. Every month for, ever, for those you know 30 years that they're there, 30 plus years or 40 years they're, in minute, they're in having menses, periods every month. That's a lot of calcium you got to make up. So younger women should take 2,500. They say some women in postmenopausal who are osteopenic should take even more. 2,500 is just an average guess. I'd say 3,000 even. I wouldn't be shy about it. Yeah. Um, don't worry about kidney stones. That's all bogus. You've got to know more than just calcium. you got to look at that, sp that uh, CMA with redox that we do. Because it'll look at your D3, intracellular D3 levels, zinc, magnesium, uh, boron, um, on and on. All these important, magnesium, all these important um, elements that impact your bones. It's not just calcium. So, uh, and that's what I do with all the osteoporosis. I get, I call them the, the bisphosphonate survivors, the ones with broken jaws, and they can't repair them once they shatter yeah. uh, from the bisphosphonates. All the drugs that doctors tend to get for this. Uh, yeah, and I get them on hormones, and it pushes all the minerals. Anyway, that's how you take care of osteoporosis. So it's so. a lot, it's a little bit deeper than just calcium. Yeah, you want to look deeper because it's a lot more than that. You have a whole book on on that topic. I do, well. I do. It's called Resolving Osteoporosis. Is it real? How do you know that? And I can't remember. It. I'll go find the wrong. link. No, yeah. I think you're right. Resolving Osteoporosis. Can you put the link in there? Yep, I'll find it. I'm gonna go back. And it was forth. number one for quite a while on, on Kindle and on Amazon. Yeah. I'm going to go back and forth on the questions from last time and then okay, keep going. live right now. Yeah. Um, how do you suggest to help pancreatitis? We've been told enzymes, but is there something else? Yeah, it's kind of new data that's coming out. It's really big. It's huge. It's monstrous. It's incredible. And it will they, we think it will prevent uh, pancreatitis too. Sod too. Superoxide dismutase 2, for some reason, is inherently tied to pancreatitis. So if you have those SOD2 genetic errors on your uh, imputed new tracker, complete new tracker, at the end of the report, those SOD2 errors, you're at higher risk for 
pancreatitis. A lot of you may have pancreatitis. Uh, uh, a lot of people listen and watch these videos, but so that, and I know we're, we're playing around with, because we own all the sod patents now and stuff for our work with Ceramax. Um, we're coming out with something here in the future that, that I think would really help. Let's just leave it at that. It's going to be oral. It's going to be easy. It's going to taste great, <clears throat> we think. But it's going to do magic. Yeah. So, awesome. but that's, yeah, there's hope. And we'll go for an FDA approval with it too, probably. Because kind of I already see that on the, the writing on the wall. Because I've looked at literally hundreds of articles this weekend on it, mm-hmm. which is weird that they'd ask that. I did not. Mm-hmm. That was like one of the first questions asked. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I, and I, that's not a planted question. I, I'm mm-hmm. just surprised they asked that. Yeah. Because I think we will have something very helpful for that. I think so. You can go to PubMed, PubMed, just go PubMed.com or just search PubMed on Google and click on it. And look up SOD2 with the number two and pancreatitis and look at all the articles and studies that are coming up. And no one's been able to figure out how to make superoxide dismutase that works. Because they'd have to, now if they try and do it, they'll have to probably violate our patent. So so we're at. One, one thing I, I just want to mention without making any claims, without pushing anything right. too far, our Serum X product does have SOD in it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It would help a lot. It may help. There's just everyone's looking at sod two, not so much sod one, because mm-hmm. sod one's associated with ALS. Yeah. So they don't always look at it, but they're very similar. Yeah. So. And, and also, I just want to point out we have a, a very fascinating case study uh, that showed a rise of intracellular sod levels, sod one at least, dramatically um, over time with the use of yeah. serum X topically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so we do have that data. I have it. I can yeah, because we can't, you can't use it orally. Mm-hmm. I know dentists are using it orally, but that's their deal. That's a whole different deal. Yeah, it's a whole different yeah. deal. Yeah. No. So okay, next question. Yeah. How do you treat chronic UTIs? Chronic UTIs, that's a loaded question. There's a lot that's really a complex question. Is it from usually women who get a lot of UTIs? Um, it's from intercourse, the irritation that occurs with the urethra. Um and or it can chronic UTI can also be from an infection that's never really resolved. Um, that's how interstitial cystitis starts, which we've done studies with interstitial cystitis. We know a lot about it. I treat a lot of IC cases. Mm-hmm. Um, the way you get rid of it is you get that that m- microgen DX PCR2 level testing in your urine. It finds strands of DNA from anything in your bladder. There should be no strands of DNA from your bladder and your urine. There should be none. But if you have four or five, that's usually the cause. They're the culprit. And you treat those, it'll tell you the sensitivities and everything. You treat them, and it clears up. Mm-hmm. And then you keep refills around in case it comes back. Because so, it happens, yeah. Yeah. But it helps. It gets to the oh, root. Always. Yeah. The hidden most always so we we don't have the microgen dx kit on your website that one's through the clinic only because it has to it's be through the clinic only yeah. yeah it has to be prescribed yeah we okay. ship it to you you can do it uh, you'll have to fly in eventually but i'm not gonna have you do that while you've got a horrible uti or interstitial stuff yeah. going on but to meet the letter of the law you gotta fly in eventually and we gotta examine you that's the letter of the law but mm-hmm. call and we'll help or we'll tell you what to get, or we'll help you get the culture. The, it's not really a culture. It's just a DNA check for the urine. It's very accurate. It's very quick. Uh, it takes about a week, eight days mm-hmm. to get back. Um, and it's relatively cheap. So two forty nine, I think, is our retail cost. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's UTIs. Um, what about your thoughts on berberine for insulin resistance, or what supplements would you recommend? Uh I, you know, there's a ton of them. Zinc is the number one um, deficiency I see that would affect insulin receptor function. So insulin resistance is insulin receptor dysfunction. Your insulin receptor is not working correctly. You got to figure out why it's not working correctly. I see it more as a engineering or mechanical problem because something is missing in that insulin receptor structure or it would work correctly. And then maybe you have antibodies to tag up. That's type one. But type two, it's usually something missing. It could be testosterone, it could be omegas, it could be 
zinc, it could be chromium, it could be vanadium, it could be, you got to find out. It could be B12, that'll affect it big. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you got to find out if you're low in any of those and deal with them. I just got my last um, test result back and I had seven, I had 14 major deficiencies. And I felt horrible. I feel good now. It's been four weeks, but um, and it takes 100 days to really clear this up. But it's probably from, I think it's from the stem cells I got. And yeah, my hemoglobin A1C went rocketed. But I know it's already come back down. I'll check it after a month and after 90 days for sure. But I have no symptoms. Mm-hmm. And I should be having tons of symptoms. Yeah. So, But I have none. So I think it's because my insulin receptors were just trash. That mm-hmm. severe omega, zinc, D3. D3 will affect insulin receptor Big function. One, yeah. um, uh, <clears throat> chromium, um, B12. I just, I have nailed them all. Yeah. I'm like, I'm surprised. I'm not I'm just a full blown diabetic. <laughs> Almost really was. So, yeah. So, there's not a lot now. to look at if you have insulin resistance. Yeah. You can flip it pretty quick if you get yeah. on it. If you have insulin resistance, you need to think that's insulin receptor dysfunction. Ask your doctor what caused it. Why do I have that? He probably won't know. He probably won't even know what you're talking about. Well, mm-hmm. your insulin receptors don't work right. I don't know why. Your, your, your insulin's not working right. Usually what they say. I ask that at conferences. I speak at all the time and I get blank stares. <laughs> they don't even know. Yeah. And this is to like five or 10,000 MDs. I might get a few answers. People stab at it. Occasionally I get someone who's smart and goes, well, not they're all smart, but <laughs> who, who's in on it. And either like they're up on it all and they're like, it's, it's some kind of, something's missing. Some vitamin deficiency or something like, bingo, you get the prize. So. Yeah, because you can usually fix it, reverse it. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <clears throat> what do you suggest for help with hypothyroidism when you have side effects from the meds and it's manifesting as tachycardia? I don't know how to say that. What? Tachycardia. Tachycardia. Thyroid meds symptoms. So I need to know where your FT3, FT4 is. Free T3, free T4, F-R-E-E. T3, F-R-E-E, T4. You can get them on Direct Labs if your doctor won't do them. DirectLabs.com on my website. Pay for it. They're cheap. Uh, get it drawn. They have 1,300 draw sites near you. Get, get them and be in charge. Um, so if your FT3 and FT4 are high, then you need to come down to your thyroid. If they're not high and they're just raise your dose a little, you probably have some other mineral or vitamin deficiency that's causing cardiac surface irritability. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Think about it. You take away magnesium or zinc or any of those that uh, that can, or have a lot to do with the electronics in the heart, and you have a deficiency in that, you're going to get all kinds of weird beat problems. We saw that all the time in, in the endocrinology research we did, in cardiology research I did down in California. And you just can't jump to conclusions. You, no, we don't send people for cardiac, um, I don't know, where they electrocute your heart. It's weird. I wouldn't do it. I'd, I'd try and figure out the root cause of it first. They don't. They just assume it's going to be that way and always going to be that way. It's usually not ever going to be that way. They have a kind of shock therapy to try to like normalize heart rhythms? They call it electrocardiography. I, don't, I can't even remember. I'm blanking on what it's called, but... There's a cardiologist like in Provo who's really a smart. He's an electrophysiologist, but they go in and they send a wire into your surface or your heart uh, through the blood vessels and zap certain areas that they think will stop your heart from beating irregularly. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, this is not what I would do first. I'd look for vitamin deficiencies first. I'm not a naturopath, but I'm telling you that's what we saw at the time. That's what I still see. And there's books about this stuff on Amazon. So I have, that's why I haven't written a book about it. I want to write a book about uh, plaque regression. That's yeah. going to be another thing I got to do. But, um, but yeah, um, I get a CMA. Sorry, it's not my answer to everything. It was kind of my answer to everything because mm-hmm. it's all screwed up. And it answers a lot of questions you don't know you have. Yeah. No, it's it's just that you get to the root cause of 
What's better? The symptoms? Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to zap your heart with an electronic wire. Ooh, no <laughs> fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> like, oh. I'm keeping those clips for later. That's funny. <laughs> Blackmail. No, just kidding. Um, this is an interesting one. So this person, they have a degenerated hip from arthritis. They've tried stem cell and won't didn't, work with hips. Yeah, it didn't seem to do anything. Won't so do it. Don't now, waste your money. Listen to everyone out there. Yeah. Don't waste your money on stem cells for hips. It does not work. Not going to work. It works for knees if you get the right doctor. It works for your back and it works for your shoulders. The best is for knees. Uh, if you go to someone really, really good, like the guy, my friend Rich Rosenthal, he's good at shoulders and backs and really good on knees. I can tell you that. He did mine. Mine's great. Right now, I have no pain. It's been four months. So um, for this person, they're going to have a replacement at the end of March. They're wondering what you suggest pre and post surgery. Oh, CMA with yeah, make sure your hormones are good and and get a CMA with the with the redox. Because don't you always see like with surgeries the trauma of it? It ends up just it, it tanking. Tanks them because you use so much, so many vitamins and minerals trying to heal. You don't want to go into that a mess because you will come out a worse mess. Yeah. And your life will be trashed. You won't heal right. I just trust me. I just like my stem cells. I went from four borderline deficiencies and six. I call them borderline, borderline, where they're right on the edge. And then you know, might as well treat them. The people paid money. I paid money for that test myself. Um, have to pay for it like everyone else. Um, and um, suddenly, I I felt horrible a couple of months, like three months later, and. And I'd taken all my vitamins. I had 14 new deficiencies. And it's got to be caused by the stem cells. I, otherwise, I was laying in bed a lot and groaning around here. And, you know, I couldn't really do much. So yeah. I was trying to do my push ups, but that was about it. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. With rapid new growth, a lot of nutrients and a lot of resources. Stem cells have gobble up a lot of nutrients. Huh? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's a very good just point for any kind Same of with major like treatment. Pregnancy, too, right? Yeah. And that patient had stem cells. It didn't work. They mm -hmm. don't work in hips. Yeah. God, I, sorry, I didn't tell them that. But yeah. Um, but um, yeah, they probably blew through a lot of vitamins. I'd get this. I'd get, make, sure, make sure I got that, stem, that CMA. And, if, and also let me help them with any HRT problems they may have. But it's hard to tell if you've got vitamin deficiencies. Let's say you're a man, you're going to have low everything anyway. And if you're a woman, you might have a lot of low things too, and you might be menopausal on top of that. It, yeah, it's gets complicated, but not that complicated. Yeah. I deal with it all the time. So, Okay, next one. Yeah, this is kind of two parts. So we're at number five, and we've got like <laughs> Well, we're hitting left. someone from before mm -hmm. and someone right now. Okay. It's neuropathy. This person said any help, and this person says any help for in the feet. Um, bothers them most at night when they're trying to sleep. If it's not a nerve root compression problem, the first thing I try is a revive uh, glutathione to help with it. It's not, it won't, it just kind of, it's real healthy for nerve health. It can rejuvenate skin and nerves and stuff. Um, trust me, it helps a lot spray it on your feet then some ceramax mm -hmm. um if that doesn't work then you need to get a cma uh with redox it could be a b12 or some other deeper darker deficiency and not some toxin causing if it's diabetic neuropathy or something bordering on that it should resolve with the first yeah, I can Here, use I my husband example. He has type 1 diabetes, and he had neuropathy in his feet, and he was using Serum X and Revive quite religiously for quite a while. He doesn't have to use it nearly as much anymore because he just doesn't have... Right. That. I'm the same with my knee. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and I've we did studies with diabetic foot ulcers, and we yeah. could always clear them up with enough glutathione. The healing, quickly. yeah. Yeah, and it's an FDA it's super claim we want to go after, yeah. This is just preclinical trial data. So, in relation to that, because I know that this is connected to Vars Revive, what about shingles? The same thing. I know. Yeah, someone we asked. So, I had about that, that product, Shingular, which can rejuvenate the skin and renew the skin and renew the, the nerves and stuff like that right there on the surface. It gets, and, and shingles virus, herpes zoster, and herpes simplex, and all those viruses, they hate glutathione. They, 
first thing shingles does in herpes one and two do and ebv and hiv do and all the hepatitis viruses they turn off they all their own different way of doing it they all turn off your genetic capability to recycle or create glutathione they're really mean little rascals that they do that but those viruses hate reduced glutathione hate it so hate mm-hmm. it I do know I've seen as well that there has been some benefic- benefits to the PHN after shingles with lidocaine um, as well. As yeah, the serum, yeah, the lidocaine is great for in it. the Ceramex. Yeah, um, in ser- yeah, in Ceramex and glutathione together over a week or two, you should be able to dramatically improve your PHN. Post herpetic neuralgia, that's when the shingles lesions have gone away and it just hurts. It hurts for a year, it'll hurt for years. You need to clear that up and get rid of it. Be patient. It might take three or four or five applications a day, but you can resolve it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and always, I mean, one it's of just the best, healthy. Yeah. best things, too, is just taking the oral VARS glutathione yeah. daily. Good for your skin, good for your rejuvenation, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Try it. That's all we can say about it. Trust me, you should try it. What about varicose veins? I don't know yeah. if you know anything. Ted Ho's, compression stockings. There's just not a lot you can do. Don't go get them stripped. Good Lord, don't do that, please. It's just a nightmare. I don't even you know better go to someone who really, really, really knows what they're doing. Um, you better talk to a vascular surgeon in your area, a really highly rated one, and ask him who he, he ask his office manager who they refer to. That way, mm-hmm. you don't have to bug him and talk to him, but or him or her. But um, but they they probably go, yeah, we use Doctor Schmidlar. He really maps it out. No, it's because they just start stripping everything out. You will pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be not pleasant. Not fun. What about a collagen supplement? What do you recommend? What brand? Well, they all do different things for different areas. The best one for joint stuff I've ever, ever dealt with is that um, Arthur Ben from Design 12. Uh, Email our office. We'll give you the link to it so you can use my account to order it just saves you money and free shipping and stuff like that yeah don't buy it on amazon god they can charge a fortune board on there that they don't want to hurt hurt the practitioners who are selling it so we're supposed to order it mark it up and then ship it to you we don't do all that we're not gonna do all that Uh, yeah my staff would quit (laughs) what about this is an interesting one recommendations for chronic malabsorption anemia can't take iron pills. They make them sick. Infusions are not sustaining their counts. So if you have a chronic iron deficiency that nothing seems to work with, let me have you Google some things. B1 deficiency, B2 deficiency, B3 deficiency. So let me say that. B1 is thiamine. B2 is riboflavin. B3 is niacin. And B12 deficiency, cobalamin. If you have deficiencies in those, you will not absorb iron at an intracellular level. You need to get a CMA or some other intracellular test and see where those levels are. And in the the craziness, because I do this all the time, I get about two chronic iron deficient patients a week. And it's because they have a B1, B2, B3, or B12 deficiency. Or a mixture of all. Or usually all of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they can't absorb iron and they wonder why. And wonder why they're so sick all the time and you get lightheaded and you wobble and you send up vertigo and it's just a nightmare. You know, it's not a brain tumor. I keep telling my wife, I was pretty sure I had one, <laughs> but she said, no, shut up, get to work, quit whining. So I did that, not stagger into work. Um, it's just iron deficiency because I kept <laughs> donating blood. Like a knucklehead. I love how you related that to your own experience. <laughs> like, I got really wobbly. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> So funny. Um, chronic back pain from endometriosis. Is there anything that you can recommend? Cerex. Would you recommend progesterone? Would that help with the endometriosis? Oh, yeah. Lots yeah. of progesterone should cool it off, but short term and acutely. Mm-hmm. Ceramax. Ceramax is magic for that. You got to try it. Ceramax.com. Where's the best place to buy it? AOBiologics.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Sign up, watch for sales. All you can that. get a free sample at Ceramax.com. Get a sample. Yeah, get a sample and rub it on. You'll know in about a minute. Oh, should I show that? Sure. sure. I should wear it on my hat up here like this. Should you? Uh-huh. You could wear your Ceramex hat like me. 
Okay, Ceramax. <laughs> and you open it this way, by the way. You bend it, you need either four doses in there and squirt a little out. Oh, there's some full. Oh, yeah, no, it was there's full. There's some left. <laughs> it was full. <laughs> I barely oh, used yeah, any. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, well, come to that. I mean, the Ceramex is just amazing. I, it's definitely a product that I use every single day. Oh man, I use it with endometriosis cases all the time. Yeah, they love it. It's a game changer for them. That's what they say. Read reviews. Yeah, no. Read it's... my reviews at, Go at at my. I never read them. My Google reviews. I guess they're good. Yes. I guess. <laughs> yeah. People are really nice. Thank you for doing this. If you haven't done it, leave me a review, please. Um, <laughs> In an honest, open, kind of You know, someday review. you should read them so you know what people are saying about you. They maybe, hate me. Maybe I'll hide one in there. <laughs> see if you find it. I think they hate me. So a hidden message. Them. <laughs> no. He was a jerk. He didn't help me. My that, arm fell off. <laughs> go back to CRMX real quick, though. Uh, it just all the uses for the whole family. It's crazy how good CRMX is. It is. Uh, just for all kinds of topical pain relief. Uh, and even below the surface level, I would give it a try. That, that's really it's all. It's lightning tell you. in a bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really magic. It's crazy. And, I think it's by far and away, and we've had some validation with this because we're working with the University of Washington and stuff. It's by far and away the best pain gel on the planet. Definitely, definitely. With really no downside. Because it, it, it's not an NSAID, it's not no. a narcotic, it's not, it's CBD. not CBD. Yeah, no. it's amazing. It's 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 unique in what it does. Um, and it absolutely is yeah. a game changer. Yeah. So, yeah, rub it on your back, rub it on your pelvis. Game changer. Okay, sorry. This is why we're never going to get through 100 questions. I think we've answered seven. <laughs> sorry. I'm curious on this one, too. Someone asked, break down the different types of magnesium and what conditions warrant each type. Not magnesium oxide. It's for constipation. You know, It'll it's give you diarrhea. good, though. It helps keep you regular. It just is a lot. <laughs> you yeah, you can get lot. addicted to it. Too. <laughs> you get addicted uh, to it? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I've had patients addicted Best to sleep it. of my it's life enough. when I took that stuff. No yeah. lie. Well, you, you didn't have constipation either. No, I didn't. Okay, you were happy a little camper, <laughs> yeah. but don't keep taking it. Um, I don't take it right now. The, uh, I don't, uh, it's all berries. Magnesium malate is the one I currently like. There's magnesium chelate, my, magnesium glycinate, magnesium bisglycinate, you name it, there's a ton of them. Um, I just don't like the magnesium oxide. Yeah. Because it causes But is there diarrhea. what you recommend for different conditions? Because I feel like it's a super hot topic right now. Magnesium. It's I think most people don't take enough. I I know because I bumped mine. I was taking one a day, a borderline. Then I got worse. Now, this last test, I got horrible. Do you see that um, as a common deficiency across a lot of If patients? you have a lot of procedures done or surgery or whatever, yeah, you're going to use up magnesium. Yeah. If you're getting leg cramps or foot cramps at night, you know, you're, look, you're laying there in bed, you're watching TV, and suddenly you see this alien-looking foot at the end of the bed. It's going, and you're like, what has got a, and you're, suddenly your foot is in agony, too, and you're like, what has grabbed my foot? What is that? Ah, it's me. It's your foot. Then they're doing all this weird twisting. That's probably magnesium. That made me think, so. like, yeah. in the old days, people probably it's thought they the were getting possessed. Yeah. Yeah. I was a demon <laughs> trying, to drag, <laughs> trying to drag me to Hades. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, no, yeah, it hurts like Hades. So, but, one of the cool things with magnesium is I don't know if it's classified as a neurotransmitter, but it definitely works in all of the neural yeah. pathways. It's one of the yeah. more, more very important. Yeah, for muscles too. Exactly. Yeah, one of the very really critical for muscles. And so it's yeah. it's crazy that so many people. I see so many magnesium deficiencies. Um, they're like, I take three already. I'm like, take seven. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. No, is it's, there a, it's needed. It's a very needed. brand you recommend? I like the I like the clean. Design for health, magnesium malate. That's kind of what I'm. I'm like now. That's what I take. Uh, but they also have a magnesium um, chelate. And I take it too. I, I'm doing three a day. I take whatever I can get my hands on. Yeah. <laughs> I just loaded my vitamin trays today. That was four hours of nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Okay, three and a half. I do mine in twenty minutes. I don't know yeah, why well, you're taking, taking so like three vitamins. <laughs> I, I'm taking take pretty them. much like seventy four. I get a whole handful of vitamins every day. And you know what? I feel normal. My foot doesn't do that at night. That's good. I feel normal. I'm I do my push ups. Traumatized now, too. The by demons the, are held the back. Image. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> demons are gone. My foot's not going <laughs> at the end of the bed. Oh, what helps night sweats from menopause? Progesterone, 95% of the time, you're low on progesterone. Or you need progesterone to withdraw enough of it from your menses days. 95% of the time. 5% of the time, in the order of most likely, at the top, 
estradiol deficiency because you're postmenopausal, a testosterone deficiency, blah, blah, blah. Could be, um, could be lack of um, DHEA or lack of pregnenolone, or it could be lack of thyroid. I've seen all those. Once you get past that 95% range, you're floating out there. You got to start trying everything. Yeah. And sometimes you just got to take a lot of progesterone to get rid of it. Um, natural progesterone, not synthetic crap. You don't want to have a stroke. You made it all the way through life. Then you're having a pause for three and your doctor put the deer or whatever. And your doctor gives you a, a progestogen, which is a nightmare. Uh, and you have a stroke. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's not right. So don't breast cancer and, and stroke and heart attack risk go up dramatically. 20, 250% increase for breast cancer and clotting. If you take progestogens. Not progesterone, though doctors conflate the two, confuse the two. Natural progesterone does not cause clotting or heart attacks or stroke. Yeah. It's Even if you have factor by blood, estradiol can, but yeah. On yeah. the other side, with men, what can they do to support prostate health? I don't know. Stumped There's a lot them. of natural products. So we've tried to develop some stuff. It's just... Is uh, yeah, I don't know. One if we just want to discuss it real quick that I've looked into a little bit is DIM, uh, in the ways that it breaks down estrogen buildups that build up around uh, the prostate. And really? Yes. I, I don't know if you've looked into that at all. It's a new one. Yeah. I'm very familiar Something. with DIM. Yeah. I Something. prescribe it all the time. Yeah. Something for you to research more, I guess. I don't know about that. I don't know. I have to look into that. Yeah. I'm not know if I'm buying that old pile of stuff. So prostate yeah. health undetermined. Suffering. Yeah, sorry, I don't have a good answer for that. I don't we got know. Got stumped. We got new winners. Stumped them. I don't know who that one is. That one's okay. from. A I week. would um. Gotta find him. I would. Yeah, you could take one of the like Avatar or something like that. That can help, and it does reduce your risk for prostate cancer. Um, that can help a lot with your generic Avatar. It's cheap. 0.5 milligrams. Good Lord, you can buy 180 of them for like 40 bucks with a good good RX card. That's six months worth. Mm. That's if you take it every day. It's got a side effect though. Two. Two side effects. What are they? One, it dramatically increases hair growth on your scalp. That's good. Yeah, it's crazy. Your husband is 63 and completely bald. And three months later, his prostate's better and his hair is really thick and wavy and long. Three so, months. Wow. Like Fabio. Oh, kidding. I don't it's know. It's 2023. We don't know who Fabio is. Anymore. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. What was that movie your mom and I watched it? Anyway, never mind. Um, okay. Um, and, and it will depress your sex life. Libido. It'll depress. Yeah, depress it. Lower it. Repress it, depress it, suppress it. Okay. So that's a side effect. Yeah, if you take it, you want to take it like two or three times a week. Good to know. Yeah. Um, as a Canadian, can I see you virtually? Someone asked. Really, really hard. Yeah, usually Canadians are good about flying in, but that's about it. But you can see them for Follow like up. nutritional stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. But no, yeah, but it's harder up there because they really limit vitamins. Yeah, everything. they can't get all and the things that we. And we can't get the we... CMA down. That's yeah. true. So uh, they, so that you're in. Yeah, contact the office. We can do some workarounds. They're illegal, completely legal. Our mom answered in the comments. She said it was Lost City, the movie. Yeah, Lost City. <laughs> <laughs> She's here. She is, yeah. <laughs> Listening. That's funny. Lost City, yeah, it's hilarious. Isn't that with, like, Sandra Bullock? Sandra Bullock and, and uh, Tatum. Channing Tatum. Tatum. Channing Tatum, yeah. And Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, Brad Pitt. They both, and Channing Tatum loses his wig somewhere in the movie. It's pretty funny. <laughs> um, My niece is having trouble with depression and anxiety. What testing should she start with? She's college aged. See me with three dogs. You'd be weirdly now yeah, nutritional testing, intracellular vitamins, minerals, amino acids, antioxidants, looks at a hundred of them. It is amazing how well people feel, how happy they get when they don't have any vitamin deficiencies. And there's no way a 22, 21, 19, 23-year-old young lady 
who's been having their cycles every month, everything else, doesn't have a box load of vitamin deficiencies. I bet she's tired all the time, too. That's the real giveaway. They'll get anxious, depressed, they can't sleep. It's got, yeah, like B1 deficiency, you won't be able to sleep, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I am not a naturopath, though I, I play one every day in my office, but um, it's incredible. Matter of fact, one of the speaking engagements I'm pretty sure I'll get is with the American Naturopathic Association I meetings. I've spoken to them before. They, I like them and they like me. So, in secret, I want to be a naturopath, but I'm not allowed to be. Mm-hmm. So, I'm still an MD. They'll take away my MD card if I keep saying that. Yeah, we'll Careful. Be bad. Yeah. MD card? Yeah. Is that uh, real? No. Okay. Yeah, it's going to license me up. <laughs> and or AMA card and don't belong to them anymore. Um, for various reasons. Uh, yeah, vitamin panel. I'd do it. And it'd be amazing. I'll straighten you out. And he also teach you the way of the vitamins, how root cause medicine. You know, tryptophan deficiency, which I had with this last round, a bad one, where it came from, I have no freaking idea. You didn't I'm, eat enough turkey. I am taking three tryptophan a day, though. Um, it directly converts to serotonin. Mm-hmm. And so if you're low in tryptophan, you're not going to make serotonin, so you get really depressed and anxious. Or if you have a lithium deficiency, you get depressed and anxious. I'm not talking about a lithium, the drug, lithium or take the supplement. It, the, you know, you need lithium, and you also get memory loss. So, yeah, there's two, those are two biggies right there. You also won't make melatonin, so you'll also be low in melatonin if you have a tryptophan deficiency. Yeah. And so you won't sleep. Exactly. What's so interesting with all of that is the quality of sleep that decreases. And I would assume with all of that increases cortisol as well. Yeah. And so I'm just... coming in with high cortisol, they'll, they'll be eating everything inside because they're stressed and anxious. They'll, yeah. Yeah. You need to unwrap all that. I do want to plug one other product of ours that helps with cortisol. What is it? That helps increase all that brain function know. and help with sleeping and everything. It's our favorite product, brain support. Take a cute cookie tail. Oh, yeah. Is that what it does? That's one of one of its many benefits, yeah. <laughs> is that what it does? I read, well, I don't know. Brett, I know that it helps with restfulness. Mm-hmm. That's it's, proven in that Japanese study. That's exactly it. It helps. It's a natural cortisol uh, lower. Yeah. Really? It is, yes. There's a couple, yeah. there's a I only get asked that about five times a week. Yeah. Yep. Like, can I just lower my cortisol? Yeah, I take PQ here. Yeah. High levels of PQQ, yeah. You know, with that... Yeah, that's a great product. I'm so glad we got that license from Mitsubishi. It's all natural. Yeah. That's become our most popular product. It is. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's funny because all the college students take it. Yeah. Yep. Helps their brain, helps them sleep. I think up. there's a video of Jared, our brother, who's in medical school right now. I saw that. It just came out this week. Yeah, of mm-hmm. him talking about his use of brain support to get him through med school. It's crazy. Oh, hopefully they won't like get him for doing that. Yeah, that's like taking steroids when you're an athlete. From what I hear, I mean, they are, students are on all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So brain support is the best thing you can be on by far. <laughs> and they're like, this is why you're the you're the, the top 25% of your class. We're taking your 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 med student card away. <laughs> Not the card again. Okay, give me the next question. How do you know <laughs> how do you know when you're optimized? Oh, sorry. How do you know when your hormones are optimized? Check levels, verify it, and also what's the, whatever symptoms you had before, are they gone? Are they resolved that were related to the, your hormone problem? That's a really general question. Yeah. Yeah, you can check levels. I like to optimize. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Like thyroid, uh, care, I'm careful about it, but I want that thyroid up near, like your FT3, up near four. Because all these studies have shown you get plaque regression, plaque regression. That's cool. Plaque regression is where your um, where your plaque leaves your carotid arteries and coronary arteries, really, um, and um, and you get a much better immune system functionality. Um, you get a huge decrease in breast cancer and other cancer risks when your thyroid's up that high. So there's a lot you can do to optimize, and why not? If you have coronary artery disease, though, optimizing, you got to be really careful with that. Yeah. Because you can cause a heart attack. They think. I don't really agree with that, but it could happen. Yeah, I know friends have been sued for that. That was a good time. Um, PCOS, what do you recommend? Deal with the vitamin deficiency. Here we go again. You guys are going to think I'm a one trick pony. 
It's always got bad M2 so far. Always. They're always connected. Deal with the vitamin deficiencies in the MTHFR. I don't know if I agree with PCOS as a diagnosis. Um, I think it's bad MTHFR and some other things going on. So they'll have high testosterone, low progesterone. For some reason, they're shunting what they should be making the progesterone into testosterone. So you may have to give them a lot of progesterone to help them with that while they... But you un, undial all that problem with their genetics and their um, and their uh, vitamin deficiencies. They usually have a chromium or selenium deficiency or zinc deficiency. The zinc deficiency makes a lot of sense. I see it all the time with them because they have low thyroid production. That'd be from the zinc deficiency, and their insulin re- and it also affect their insulin receptor functionality. So they have some other genetic piece that they don't absorb enough zinc. I don't get it. I haven't figured that out yet. Yeah. So working on that one. But they do have bad MTH for every single one of them. So, and the, the, the three pieces of PCOS, high testosterone, low progesterone, low thyroid, mm-hmm. and insulin resistance. So four, really. And mm-hmm. five weight gain. So there's five. I just completely blew that. Didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. PCOS five. <laughs> five good. signs of PCOS. There you go. Yeah. Make that into a video. And I see people that have one or two or three, and they're called so they have PCOS. I don't think you can have it until you have all those, but it doesn't matter. You still feel not great. Mm-hmm. Um, deal with the vitamin deficiencies. That's the biggest thing you can do first, because it really takes care of a lot of the problems. And you, you really realize they should be in a lot of zinc probably forever. So yeah. stuff like that. Good to know. Yeah, you can treat it and get a lot of success with it. And they'll like a lot of progesterone. So, But later they'll make their own. They'll, they'll start converting. Instead of two testosterone, they convert more to progesterone. Yeah. Real quick, um, I saw someone asking, even going back to like, well, what do you do about MTHFR? So one of the things, yeah, it, it's fun. We go in circles sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, the very basis, it, this is a, a program that I'm trying to get started. And it's called the Purser Method. Oh my gosh! And, uh, and Dan loves it. Can but... you call it the pudding method, or on only on Sundays we we'll call it the pudding method? Um, the uh, butterscotch apple pie. I said, no, yeah, no, no. purser method. Now, yeah, it's, if you go over to danpurserd.com, yes. there's a section there that talks about the purser method, and the idea is just that, where you'd have to take a look at the intracellular deficiencies. That's that is just one of the core principles. Yeah, when you hit fifty, and you've never had intracellular. De- if you're tired at all and messed up, I get so many patients with crazy diagnoses, multitudes of them, and really, I'm like, but well, yeah, that's from a severe riboflavin. Oh, that one's from a B1 thiamine, and that one's from, oh yeah, you have scurvy. Oh, yeah, let's see, vitamin C. So yeah. all these crazy symptoms for all kinds of different diseases, all kinds of different things, when we talk about root cause, we're talking about interest. You gotta start somewhere. Yeah, yeah root cause. Yeah, vitamin deficiencies, interest or vitamin, mineral, amino acids, antioxidants are critical, and you have to dig into the genetics so you can figure a lot out. Yeah, and it really helps you unwind most of those problems. The earlier you do it, the better. When you get if you're seventy, it's a lot harder than if you're sixty or fifty nine or fifty. It's but that's harder than if you're forty. And like you said before, I mean, it's not your always go-to answer, but most of the time no. it is. <laughs> if, if you ever have any question of where to start uh, with all of the information that gets out there about Dr. Purser and his clinic, the very the best place to start is get a CMA, intracellular micronutrient yeah. test. And sometimes they come back incredibly well, but the patients look really well too. The ones who are a complete mess, like men with really low testosterone and stuff like that, they're going to have really bad vitamin deficiency. Almost always. They're a mess. I've been a mess, too. I was just a mess a few weeks ago. It's horrible to be a mess. I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to plug my own little story, too, because uh, I'm a perfect example. Remember, you're going to get to 100 vitamin B questions. We'll do right? another one. It's okay. <laughs> uh, but I'm just, I am such a great example of going through are. these processes. Uh, only a couple of years ago, I weighed almost 400 pounds. I was probably at the most unhealthy I've ever been and hopefully ever will be in my life. And it was a, such a struggle every single day. I dealt with all the same uh, the symptoms everyone gets of just depression and anxiety. 
and imagine if we didn't have it. I, I don't if know I didn't I even be. know, if I had gone down and spent those 10 years in yeah. SoCal doing research and stuff, yeah, no, I wouldn't I've, know about this technology. I, I'm incredibly blessed that I've been able to work with you so closely to be able to go through this whole process. I deal with my fibromyalgia. Even. It's just vitamins, but I would suspect everyone in this room and almost everyone in our office has benefited from, and our company has benefited from that panel dramatically. Absolutely. Especially me, me being the chief uh, one era for all of us, because <laughs> I'd probably be dead. Yeah. Um, it's also helped me figure out even more, more completely the fibromyalgia puzzle, because I see so many boron, molybdenum, zinc, copper deficiencies, intracellular deficiencies. So if you have a low intracellular copper deficiency, a really bad one, or even one at all, that supposes to me or that makes me believe you have a really high serum copper level it's there it's just not inside your cells where it should be it's out there wreaking havoc where it shouldn't be anyway enough of that next yeah. question well kind of in relation to that because i've gotten this a couple times what multivitamin do you recommend then for people if they just need if to get you're started? Gonna let me master formula because i was and we use spectra cells to develop that we had, we had a thousand, we pulled a thousand spectra cells out on Young know, Living distributors, and that's how we designed that. We saw the holes, and, and the team and I helped design that supplement off those. And Gary then went through it, and we approved it, and we went with it. It was amazing because 85% of Young know, Living distributors, after I saw that, I was pretty sure that MTHFR. Yeah. How do I treat MTHFR? I usually use one of those supplements. We developed MTHFR Supreme, oh, sorry, MTHFR. Renew or Endure. So, and I take Endure. I take the tiny bite. I don't have very many errors, so I take like half of one. If I try more than that, I'm I'm over methylated. Um, get my book on that, The 85% Solution. It was number one on Amazon for two years. I, it kind of made me, I won't say famous, but kind of famous. Put you on the map. Did something. Put me on the mat. Really, not on the map. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, get a get a vitamin panel up and down. We had them on sale for a while. Maybe we should do that again. If someone, if we get a big interest in it or something. Yeah. We, we mm -hmm. were essentially selling them at cost. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how well that went because we were we were just selling them at cost. They really people well, like it. Patients didn't help love the bottom it. line. Yeah. Are there genetic errors that you see associated with low thyroid function, or is it? Typically, oh, absolutely. And what would that be? Um. And how do you test for that? I I would get the 23andMe when they're on sale on a holiday. Don't use your real name or date of birth. You can use a credit card from another person's name, i.e. your real name. But don't give them your real name uh, for privacy purposes. When you get the results back, then link it to and purchase the NutriHacker Complete. It's thirty six, thirty seven dollars. Yeah, they will send it to you. But the next day or next hour, usually sometime thereafter, they'll send you the imputed version. I want to see that. Um, there are certain genetic errors that cause you to not absorb zinc or selenium correctly, and they indirectly or directly affect your thyroid functionality. Me. Sorry. Is there a connection between selenium deficiency and sleep apnea? You just mentioned selenium. Not to my knowledge. If you have a thyroid, if you're hypothyroid, though, you might sigh a lot. Sigh. Not just at night, but during the day. You have to catch your breath a lot. And especially where we live at altitude, um, hmm. like that. Um, that's because your heart and your lungs aren't be, aren't working at the appropriate rate that they would be if your thyroid was normal, if you had an optimized or normal thyroid range. That is so fascinating. You need to make a video just on that because I feel like you see that all the time here. Yeah. I never. Yeah, they're almost always hyperthyroid. Yeah. But the way you test for that is not what they do. You get you might want to look at antibodies. I, I often start with FT3, FT4, and TSH. But 
Then I'll also get antibodies if I was so curious. I usually yeah. do to get, there are an occasion that direct live says sales. They did that in January, didn't they? No. Yeah, uh, they did December. it both December, and I think they still have something going right now. Yeah, it's really, yeah, so look at direct live's link on my website and get the thyroid panel if you want to know. It's really, looks at antibodies, looks yeah. at FT3, FT4. They know how to do it right. I set that thing up too, though, so. Yeah. What's your take on bioidentical hormones? And do you prefer pellet, trochi, cream? What's best for absorption? Uh, it varies. Uh, I've used pellets, but only in last resort situations I'll use them. Uh, and mostly just for men, right? Mostly just for men, rarely for women. Um, I tend to use testosterone in cream form or shots for men if nothing else works. Usually, I'm going to find out why the man has low testosterone. I'm going to deal with that first. Uh, and it, I don't believe in manopause. I believe in vitamin opause. <laughs> and if it's not that, then it's pituitary opause. The pituitary is not pausing. It's just gone um, from a car wreck. Or it, maybe the your husband played Division One football or Division Two or something. Or NHL hockey or something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Um, so... Women, it's usually menopause. And so um, I t there's certain situations where you want to use oral estradiol because it gives a lot more benefits than cream or patch. Much, much more benefits. It's cheap. It's safe. If you don't have factor by blood, uh, and I'll ask you that. Um, and you're not outside the 10-year window. 10-year window is... 10 years after you go through menopause, you've never been put on oral estradiol, then you can never be put on oral estradiol. Most doctors misconstrue the 10 year window as you're 10 years past menopause, you need to get off all your HRT. I have no idea where they came up with that version of it because that's not the right um, delineation of the 10 year window. Um, and I tend to use progesterone trochies because they're really well absorbed. Not trochies, but RDTs, rapid dissolved triturates, uh, are the best. And um, trochies would be next. But if it's a financial problem, uh, capsules or generic Prometrium. They don't work quite as well, um, but insurance might cover it. Uh, and if not, you can use a good RX card and get them really cheap. Yeah. So, Or you can get combat progesterone cheaper than... RDTs. RDTs is kind of the gold standard for high, high knowledgeable, highly knowledgeable pharmacists, a comedy pharmacists. If they make good RDT, they're they're set. Yeah. So, because not a lot can. Yeah. Got to find a good one. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that's probably a general question, well, but I covered almost everything. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Women is... like to use the testosterone cream. Yeah. And I'll add oxytocin to it in some situations because <clears throat> it helps better with cover your kids' ears orgasms. Don't tell them what that means. <laughs> yeah, in some women. This is another general one. What's the key to lessening inflammation? Make sure, here comes, use an answer I'm going to give you, make sure you don't have any vitamin deficiencies first. Um. Sometimes you just can't help it. You need to bat massively increase your antioxidants. They'll remove infl inflammation, especially superoxide dismutase. Do you know what superoxide dismutase does? Most people don't know. It removes superoxides at the molecular and cellular level and converts it into H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, which then glutathione takes and converts into H2O and O2. <laughs> so really it becomes instantly non-harmful. And we do need some hydrogen peroxide in our body. So um, so if you're born, I see it every day with SOD2, SOD3 errors. I kept, this is, I've got one I've kept for the conference I'm going to speak at. They told me I could use it. Because um, she's gone on all of them. And she has a lot of inflammation. That's why we think a viable, functional, absorbable, reduced, stable SOD2 for oral consumption would be a game changer in the market. Yeah. 
Because that's usually what the big deficiency is. I know. I can't wait for that. And we've mentioned it, and I know your followers are getting excited for it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a big deal. Yeah. So imagine Ceramax orally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the benefits of sod. It's crazy. It is crazy. One other thought I just, I have with, um, with trying to handle inflammation is an anti-inflammatory diet. I know that for me, that's oh yeah, good. get yeah. rid of sugar. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yeah, yeah, refined sugars are. Terrible. I mean, so do apple slices count? Apples are all right. It's the refined sugars that are in almost all of our yeah. processed foods. Yeah, and just not eating them anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I take do occasional orange slices, some pear slices. Try not as much, but man, I'm addicted to apple slices. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> bad. My it's wife's going. Than- that's too many carbs. Better than the like, Disney cupcakes. Yeah, that's much better than Disney cupcakes. That's what you I know what? There's say, nothing yeah. better than a good old. Well, you want two of them, giant Disney cupcakes. Some months on while you're walking through the park. We'll bring two? apples next time. That's good. I'm gonna pretty much bring apple slices if I go. And we're going. We got to go back for some work down there. So mm-hmm. it's always work. Yeah. No anti-inflammatory diet though is extremely. Important. Oh man, I can tell. Yeah. No. It's improved my inflammation so much. Me too. Me too. I just can't get off the wagon again and fall into sugar world. Yeah. Happy sugar lumpkins. <laughs> lumpkins. That's what I become. Doctor Sugar Lumpkins. Yeah, it's bad. It's eight PM. Oh, we did an hour already. It's an hour. Wow. Can I let's wrap it up by some? Yeah, do a couple. Let's more. get some off the list. Gout. How to help or avoid gout? Oh, uh, I don't know the answer to that <laughs> one. I haven't figured that one out yet. You guys are asking me these. I know you think I'm really cool at things I've, I've figured out that I'm not going to get a Nobel Prize in, but. You told I'm, them to ask you anything. <laughs> yeah, I did. Ceramax. <laughs> or. You know, I was reading studies about gout. This is so random, and you can look at it too. Humidity. Apparently, humidity helps with <laughs> gout. To Utah? No, it's like you're supposed to oh, go be to Florida in humidity. And stay in the ocean. That's something interesting. Yeah, I'm looking up I have no idea. We don't, yeah. this isn't rapid fire if you have to look it up. <laughs> okay, never mind. One, <laughs> one thing I did see someone actually commenting about Serum X the other day uh, for muscle cramping. And I know you've talked about this as well. Yeah. <laughs> I rub it on my calf for like I get those massive, horrible leg cramps at night when I've walked a long ways now because I'm trying to walk every night and stuff back. And I go to a mall because it's so horrible outside of here right now. We're literally in the snow Mageddon for seven, eight weeks now. It's a beautiful. It just snowed again. Wonderland. It's snowing right now. It is. Yeah. It snows every day. Yeah. And we were like 300% of snowpack up in the mountains. If anyone sneezes in Provo, we're all going to die from an avalanche. There's so much snow up there. Um, <laughs> Someone sneezes. I hope no one sneezes before you get home. Um, yeah, so what were we talking about? Oh, well, leg cramps. Well, yeah, leg cramps. Yeah, I get leg cramps. Yeah, rub it on. It'll dissipate the leg cramp and the pain gone. The quicker you can do it, the better. Yeah. Yeah, or if your foot's cramping at night, wakes you up, like doing the crazy foot thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it works. I have no idea why that stuff does that. It, it has a weird loosening effect. How it does really superoxide does. dismutase do that? Or lidocaine's not doing it. I don't know what's don't know. doing that. We can only speculate right now, but it, it, it works. It does. Yeah. A lot of cases. If you get a really bad leg cramp or muscle cramp or weird ache in your neck or something like that at night while you're sleeping, rub it on. Keep by your bedside. Yeah. Future is bright for that product. Oh, yeah. So. Mast cell activation. Um. Can you use Ceramex if you have mass cell activation? I think the side two. We I know we played around with Ceramex with it because it does stabilize mass cells somewhat, but uh, oral version would be better. This was it tastes like vanilla cinnamon pudding. I don't know if we'll do that, but that's what one of my hopes. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but um, yeah, I, yeah, because it stabilizes removes superoxides from the surface of the mass cell so they can't activate. Yeah. So. Um, it's a game changer, but yeah, maybe that, yeah, yeah. Uh, one other thing with Ceramex, I've seen some people talking about this week too, or asking about it, was Crips. Resveratrol will do it too. Really? It, what, yeah. Remind me what Crips is again. I don't know what that is. It's a diet, isn't it? No, no, no. Crips isn't that um, the it. pain. It's a gang. <laughs> no, that is that too. <laughs> um, but it's the, the CRPS, right? Oh, Complex Regional Pain Syndrome. That's it, yes. 
Uh, do, do you know, have any ideas or work it up with that? Yes, Sierra Max. Okay. Yeah. yeah, try it. It's well, for pain. Try it. It mm -hmm. removes superoxides at the molecular level. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a reason why we have patents on that and everything going forward. So, wait until we have the first IV version uh, and the first glutathione IV that's FDA approved. Okay. That's another deal. We're looking forward to getting all that. We're going to try. Not really rapid firing anymore. So Keep rapid fire me another one. <laughs> we can also continue this again. Okay, let's do it. It's got to be three weeks from now uh, because we're we're gone the next couple of weeks uh, on a couple of business trips. Yeah. So um, potentially we could jump on and do a quick one even just from the phone on the go uh, if we want to. I don't even know how that works. works. I'll be there with you so I can help you. Okay. He doesn't yeah. know how uh, But it otherwise, works. let's plan for three weeks from today. And we can do uh, yeah the uh, last of the th th yeah well, well actually I'm only going to answer about 45 questions in three weeks February 12th We're your Valentine's there. Day special ooh ooh I remember yeah. last year's do they like this question I don't think they do they don't <laughs> no they they're loving this everyone's been asking great questions <laughs> yeah. okay yeah I was okay teasing. well I love you guys I love you more than you love me thank you for supporting us uh, you you made us who we are um. And I know I love you and support you. And I'm, you know what I've been through for all of you. Um, and um, God bless and go in good health and stay safe.